take that bounce. Takes them on. This could be for nine. This is bread and butter. Being a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the kind of thing that Lance Franklin does to bring thousands to the footy every week. Well, it was out of defence, and that was the kick from Hill. He got himself in good position, front and square. And look at the fend-off there on, on Pickin. And that's just an easy finish for Buddy Franklin. Franklin, a big super goal. So take us through the tape, Jono. Jordan Ruffett, he goes to the ball. Should he have, or...? Long Ablett read it beautifully. And he's away, and he'll be hard to catch. He might go from outside 50 to an unguarded goal. Oh, he's a champion. He is a champion. Anything they can do, he can do better. Yeah, beautifully called, uh, Tim. I, I think we do throw the word champion around, uh, maybe a little lo too loosely at times, but... His grand final performance in a day where his teammates were just having uh, some of them their worst day for a long time. He was absolutely phenomenal. He just looks like a power of muscle. The situations, boundary throw-ins. Here he is again, and they got pushed in the back there. Play on the call, and he's Sean, a clearance king, this guy. Yeah, he's off to the races. He could be at stall over Easter as he drives it deep to full forward. It could bounce for the super goal. Yes. Could be nearly 12 passes that far out. It's a uh, very good shot on goal. Good clearance from Lade to get the tap down there. It was probably uh, a crow's player who got the tap down, but uh, the ability to run and bounce and kick at pace from that sort of distance. He had two bounces before he reached the new halfway line and yeah. still finishes up with a goal. And a thousand dollars courtesy of Neb to the Mallee Park Football Club here in South Australia. So throw in Jolly over the top. There's Big Will. Getting it forward, Mitzen to Cooney. Hasn't he made an impact in this quarter? Murphy might find a path right to full forward. Darcy will let it go! And there's nine for the Doggies. A super goal for Robert Murphy. And the Bulldogs are getting emotional already. It's February. Oh, that's fantastic stuff. Here's the class of Adam Cooney. And the quick gift to Murphy, and a great piece of work in the goal square, not to mention the kick, and all done by Luke Darcy and Robert Murphy. Again, Henderson the clear, and Douglas was in front, but then he moved off his line, called to play on. Look at that. It's a poor kick, and it's a big turnover here, and it's a big chance for the Cats. Holland Smith uses Varco going past. Chapman with a 1 2 with Varco. Loves to kick a goal from outside for the nine points. Make it Nina Nina Nina. Oh. <laughs> Well, you, uh, you turn the ball over in AFL footy now and quite often you pay the price. But I think it was Matty Wright, it was the Crows player who tried to switch the ball, didn't straighten up enough, needed to take another step, turned it over and uh, Varco on the receiving end from Chapman just leant back, steered it through, did what he had to do and uh, kicked a great nine-pointer. You look at the numbers too through the midfield there.